Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Headbangers Closet. Appreciate all you guys tuning in. Hope you guys had an opportunity to check out my Lunar Satan album review episode. Give that record a listen. You're going to like it. I promise you that. Uh, so today's episode, we're going to pit two more underrated albums against each other. Had a lot of fun doing the Judas Priest, Pit and Turbo versus Defenders of the Faith. Which one was the better record? Turbo with the more well-known single tracks on it versus Defenders of the Faith, which the album as a whole, front to back, is just a juggernaut. Which one did I pick? I picked Defenders of the Faith. Which one did you guys pick? Well, in the comments below, most of you guys also picked Defenders of the Faith as the best overall record. So today I want to do something very similar. Pit another two underrated albums against each other, and this time the band is Slayer. I love Slayer, one of my all-time favorite bands, just for whatever reason or another. I haven't really talked about them a whole lot on this channel, so that's going to change today. I got some cool Slayer reissues. The first two albums, which I feel are great records, very underrated in the Slayer catalog, in my opinion. Everybody talks about the big three, and as they should, the big three, Rain and Blood, South of Heaven, and Seasons in the Abyss, three of the top 20 metal albums of all time. Great records in their own right, but you can search YouTube and find people talking about which one of those three is the better of the rec better of those three records. So I don't want to do that. I want to do something a little different. We're going to pit the debut album, Showing a Mercy, versus the second full-length album, South of Heaven, against each other. We'll go track by track kind of deal. Which one's got the better record? Which one has the more well-known Slayer songs on it? And we'll just see which one I like better. I'll make my choice. And then I want you guys to leave me a comment below and make your choice as well. So let's get started right away. Uh, and again, these are all reissues because I got some pretty cool colored vinyl I want to show you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys all know I like colored vinyl. So anyway, here's here it is. Show No Mercy, the debut record from Slayer. Came out in December, I think, 5th, 1983. Uh, pretty cool photos on the back. You got Tom screaming into the mic. Jeff looking all evil and badass. Lombardo just looks like he's having the damn time of his life playing them drums. And then there's Kerry King. Trying to look serious and cool at the same time while doing his best K.K. Downing and uh, Glenn Tipton impersonation. We all should know by now that Judas Priest is a huge influence on Kerry King and Slayer as a whole. And you can actually hear a lot of that influence on this record in particular. Uh, so before we get into track by track, let me just kind of show you guys... Is the insert with the lyrics, picture of the dudes playing live in the early days in L.A. A lot of what was happening in Thrash at that time was going on in uh, San Fran. Slayer was down in L.A. fighting bands like Motley Crue and Dawkins and Rat for show space, club space, whatnot. So here's the album on Blood Red Vinyl. Looks really, really sharp. Really cool looking vinyl. So let's go track by track on this or kind of just... Quick review of the of the album as a whole. Uh, so, before we kind of get into it, I'd just like to say you can check pretty much any set list of Slayer in the past, like two or three tours. You're going to see a lot of songs on this album that they play live. So that should just go to show you that the guys love this record, uh, and it's a great record, you know, as they should. It's a phenomenal album. So the first first side one is Evil Have No Boundaries, The Antichrist, Die by the Sword, and then Fight Till Death. Fight till death. Great tracks. Uh, all the first four songs on this record, I've I've seen them play live before. Uh, they're phenomenal on the album. They sound great live. And then side one concludes with Metal Storm and Face the Slayer. So you remember when I talked about the Judas Priest influence? You really can hear it on Metal Storm, Face the Slayer. And then when you flip it over to side two, you get Black Magic, my all-time favorite Slayer song. You can really hear some Judas Priest on that one. And then Tormentor, especially Tormentor. Tormenta! Really hear that Judas Priest dual guitar vibe going on that Kerry King and Hanneman are trying to kind of like, not copy, but like you know, emulate, pay homage to, if you will. Taking that influence of Priest, put it into their own record. You know, all the greats do it, and that's what makes these things awesome. Uh, so then we got, after Tormentor, we got the Final Command, Cryonics, and Show No Mercy. So... Great album, like I said earlier, vastly underrated in my opinion. I'll put this up right with the big three of Rain and Blood, uh, South of Heaven, and Seasons in the Abyss, and then this one right after it in terms of, you know, my top four Slayer records. Oh, shit, just hit myself right in the face. Uh, I've had too many of uh, 
these big league IPAs tonight. So <laughs> should be a fun episode, right? <laughs> so next we've got March 25th, I believe, 1985. Hell Awaits come out. And uh, you might think that's quite a, kind of a while between albums, but back then was unheard of. Usually it was album, tour, record, album again within a year. But this came out almost two years later, but they put out Live Undead, the, the, the live album, and then an EP, Haunting the Chapel. So that kind of tied, you know, tied fans over until the second full length, which was Hello Waits, came out. And again, on the back, same thing. You got Arias screaming in the mic. You've got Hammond looking evil. You've got Lombardo just looking like he's having a damn good time. I'm just happy to be in the band, guys. And then Kerry King, again, Glenn Tipton, K.K. Downing, just trying to look like them, sound like them, uh, which is cool. You know, it's awesome. To me, he kind of later developed his own sound, but back in these early albums, he just really did sound a lot like Judas Priest, so. More lyrics, badass artwork. Really, really cool orange, bright orange vinyl, which matches the album cover, which is really sharp looking. Uh, I got these off Revolver's website. I thought they did a really good job, uh, you know, kind of picking the colors to kind of make a match the album. So I thought it was really cool. So let's go into some of the tracks on this particular album. Um, right off the bat, I'm just going to just admit, this is not as strong as Show No Mercy as a whole. But it does have one of the songs that every Slayer fan knows, even like casual Slayer fans, casual Slayer fans know, Hello Waits. And as they should, it's a freaking classic song. Classic heavy metal song, classic Slayer song. It's phenomenal. One of the best intros in all of heavy metal. Goes into this just badass chugging riff kicks right into the song and then just the speed riff kicks in and just goes from there. Phenomenal song. Goes into that, then it goes into Kill Again and then At Dawn They Sleep, which probably my second favorite song on this album. Really, really cool, underrated song. Then Praise of Death. Flip it over to side two and you got Necrophiliac, Crypts of Eternity, and Hardening of the Arteries. Another underrated Slayer record, in my opinion. They don't play a lot of songs off this album live. I think it's usually just Hello Waits. I've heard it Dawn They Sleep a couple times, but definitely not as strong as Show No Mercy, and I'm wondering if maybe they just kind of had the first album in the in, in the tank recorded Show No Mercy, and maybe these were kind of like some leftovers. I don't know. I don't want to really go there. Just something I was kind of spitballing, because some of the songs are obviously a little bit kind of lackluster in my opinion, so it's easy to make this choice for me, even though Hello Waits is the classic Slayer song. I'm going to go with Show No Mercy as the better of these two albums. Um, surprise, surprise. I just said a few minutes ago I'd pick this up as number four in the entire Slayer catalog, so I should have given it away. Um, it's just a phenomenal album. And not to say that this one's not. This one, in my opinion, is a lot more thrashy. It's a lot faster. It's a lot heavier. It's a lot darker. A little bit more demonic in the song, uh, you know, subject matter and lyrics and stuff like that. But just Show No Mercy is just so good. Uh, so that's my pick. What's you guys' pick? Leave me, leave me a comment down below. Which one do you guys choose? Which one has the better single? Or not single, but like, the, which one has the better, you know, like, standout track? Uh, so leave me a comment below. Let me know. Hit the like and subscribe if you will. And then go find me on Instagram if you want to. Headbangers Closet on Instagram. I do my best to follow everybody back. I post pictures of my collection. A lot of stuff I'm really not covering on the YouTube channel. It's a little bit more to check out. I uh, post a lot of lo pictures I've taken at live shows. All this other stuff. So check me out there. And uh, yeah, we'll have another video for you guys tomorrow to make up for the uh, week I missed due to being out of town. So appreciate it. And as always, cheers guys.